In this video, we will be using quadratic interpolation to determine the value of y if x is 15. Just by looking at this problem, I know that if x is 15, y should be 45 because 10, 20, 30, 30, 60, 90. So if it's in the middle, 15, y would be 45. However, there are many instances when we have numbers not easy like 10, 20, 30, that quadratic interpolation will be very useful. And so let's solve this simple example. And if we solve this example, you can solve almost any problem. We can say that this right here is x1, this is x2, and 30 is x3. With that said, we now need to fill out this formula. So fx2, meaning what is the value of y when x is 20, essentially, which is going to be 60. So 60 plus um, x minus x2. Um, we said that x will be the 15. That's what we're trying to solve for. So x is 15 minus x2. This is x1, this is x2, this is x3. So x2 will be 20 times um, fx3, which is 90, minus fx1, which is 30, divided by 2 delta x. So how is x changing? 10, 20, 30. So I could say 20 minus 10. That is our change in x. So it's going to be 10 plus x minus x2. x again is 15. That is what we're trying to solve for. Uh, 15, right? Minus uh, x2 was going to be 20 uh, squared times fx1, which is 30 minus 2 times fx2, which is 60, plus fx3, which is 90, close bracket, divided by 2 times delta x squared. Um, you know, 30 minus 20 is 10, 10 squared, so 10 here, squared. And now if we write this down in a calculator, we would get 45. And that's all we need to do for this problem.